Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Dave with the Shorty Show on the Bass Channel. Today we're checking out the GNL Fallout Bass. This ain't a scene, it's a goddamn short bass. Cause it's Fallout Bass, get it? Hailing from Fullerton, California, the GNL Fallout Bass, the Fullerton Deluxe version, that is, is $13.99 at most retailers, $13.99 US. And how does it stack up against the competition? Well, it is about on par with some of the Fender offerings, and it's a little bit more expensive than import basses uh, that we've looked at recently, but at $13.99, it is not even close to the most expensive, but it's not the cheapest either out of the US made short scale basses. First impressions of this bass, uh, I thought it was all right. I, I have a soft spot in my heart for this orange, this metallic, they call it metallic tangerine. Um, I mean, it's, it's orange and orange happens to be my favorite color. So yeah, I love the aesthetic right off the bat. Um, I personally wish it had a maple fretboard, but some of the colors that they offer do come with maple fretboards. Right out of the gate, the fit and finish was really pretty nice. It is a solidly manufactured base. All the joints look tight, the knobs and the switches and the bridge, everything seated nicely. Right out of the box, I will say the setup left a little bit to be desired. The action was a mile off the deck. Leaved? Leaved? Yeah. Instead of leaved, what did I say? Desired. Is that what I said? I it registered after you said. I'm like, I don't think. I don't word. think that's what I said, but we can check the Maybe tape like later. Tense tree and leaved. The setup leaved a little bit to be desired. Leaved a little bit to be desired. Leaved a little bit to. Be I'm just gonna call it right now. That's exactly what you said. Okay. All right. <laughs> Right out of the gate, the setup left something to be desired for sure. The action was a mile off the deck and the, the playability was just not there. We went ahead and gave it a truss rod adjustment. We didn't touch anything else, uh, just did the truss rod. And it's uh, definitely back into the realm of playable right now. But that said, the strings are now a little bit closer to the pickup and so if you play with a heavy touch, uh, they bang off the pickup a little bit. playability beyond the setup goes the neck shape itself is pretty nice the fretboard has that flatter kind of radius a little bit more modern feel to it and overall it is a heavier base but it's well balanced at least this one i think feels like nine pounds or more um, definitely heavier than the other shorties that we've looked at recently one other thing that uh, kind of adds to the playability and the comfort aspect is that this does have your your arm bevel and your belly cut uh, much like you know a lot of fenders do but uh, most of the bases that we have been looking at recently you know didn't really have that we've had some slab bodies we've had some hollow bodies things like that so this is a welcome return to form i think uh, at least for this series now let's move on a little bit from playability to sound because that is pretty much why everybody's here, right? So you might have heard, uh, as for the tones being played in this video, you might have gotten the flavor that this bass is a little bit dark. And uh, that was my initial impression right out of the boxes. 
wow, this thing sounds dark. Now, I was playing it at home through my orange amp and then brought it over here to the studio where we're playing through this Laney amp behind us. Uh, and it is a little bit dark. And that is, you know, I would attribute that to the fact that it's one humbucker. And as you can see, it's in the dead center instead of, say, here or so where a Stingray single humbucker might be. So it's going to be a little darker. But between myself and Chris kind of playing the, the bass back and forth, we've discovered that that darkness actually is not as, oh, what's the word, overwhelming as we initially thought. You've got some of that low tone. You've got some of that low mid overtone. Uh, they're still very prominent and very heavy, but they're not all encompassing like we initially thought. So you can get a little bit of brightness out of this, especially with the pickup switch in the middle position. apparently what happened after Leo Fender hooked up with a true G to make instruments maybe even better than Fenders. So a lot of people may be wondering out there in YouTube land, how does the GNL compare with everybody's favorite Fenders? And I will say this, the only Fender short scales that I have played from the modern era were things like the Justin Meldal Johnson, the JMJ Mustang, which is uh, number one, a, uh, a Mexican line instrument. So it's not exactly one-to-one -one with an American made instrument. And number two, it just has a regular uh, split coil uh, Mustang kind of pickup in it. So it's not exactly comparable to a big fat humbucker like this one. That said, I really like the JMJ Mustang um, and would love to have another one. This bass holds its own though, this bass plays uh, pretty well once you get it set up. Your mileage may vary. I think that the quality control out of the box may have been a little lacking for this one. We've been talking about quality control a little bit extra lately uh, because we've seen some bases come through the shop that uh, haven't really cut it very well. But um, it's a serviceable base, and if you give it a full setup, I am sure that you'll be happy with it. The finish on this, especially this metallic tangerine color, is really nice and I think the shape is cool. It's a little bit different. It's not quite a Mustang. It's not quite a Jaguar. It's kind of somewhere in between uh, to make its own unique thing. I really like the look of it. I think the shape of the pick guard flows with the shape of the body really nicely, but that's aesthetic opinion. You get a humbucker with three switchable options and a tone knob versus say the Mustangs, you know, split pea soup uh, pickup. Uh, and just the one tone knob. And when it comes to the bridge, you have a kind of massive custom design cast looking thing instead of a bent plate bridge. The saddles are kind of locked into place, whereas on a fender, they could kind of walk around on you as you adjust things. And it seems like a nicer design. Is it a better bridge? Only time will tell and only your ears will tell, but you know, back of the napkin, top of the head impression is this seems like a more substantial bridge than a bent plate bridge. We have already mentioned most of these things, but I'm going to run down the specs just so that you can see them on your screen in full textual color glory. 
we're looking at a maple neck with a Caribbean rosewood fretboard. 19 frets on this one, not 20, not 22, only 19 on this base. The body is made of alder and it has this amazing metallic finish on top of it. It's got a three ply mother of pearl, mother of toilet seat pick guard. And it's got uh, a single humbucker with three switching positions that is parallel split and oh my god mode or OMG mode one volume knob one tone knob and of course the output jack is on the front the balance on this base is pretty good right now i have it on a strap and it is not moving uh it is slightly above parallel the strap button kind of hits the the neck at approximately if you look at the vertical it's approximately the 14th fret but there's a little bit extra weight behind the bridge to kind of offset that. So I think that attributes to the balance. And of course, again, the body is substantial and massive. So you get your weight. It's a little heavier than some shorties, but it's well balanced. So just get yourself a nice strap. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this bass or if you enjoyed the video or anything else you'd like to say about it. And uh, otherwise, go ahead and click some buttons down below. You know what I mean. You know who you are. Click some buttons, and we love you. And we will talk to you next time from Shorties here on the Bass Channel. My name's Dave, and I'll see you.